but again, it, it, your machining cost is, is related to how complex the part is. Uh, the tolerancing obviously um, goes, you know, if it's a something that's a three place, four place, you know, type tolerance so that that dictates a certain amount of inspection. Um, how many you inspect, what type of, you know, what type of equipment do you need, uh, what type of tools you need, not only to produce the part, but what kind of tools do you need to inspect the part? Um, is this something that can be done online? Is this something you want to you know, have the operator checking or is this something that you pull offline and have the uh, and take it into the inspection department and have them check tolerances and surface finishes and that type of thing, um, different type of comparators. So the machining calculator again can be very simple, um, you know, drill tapped holes or you know a lot of milling, cutting, you know, grooves, boring, um, you know, broaching operations. They can get very involved. So again, it's it's up to uh, if the part dictates it. And again, but it's one of those things that the discussion up front. You know, can we cast something versus does it have to be a, a machined in feature? So um, that's that's a big driver of cost. Yeah, and I, I, that's that's the point right there is really making sure either the foundry or the custom shop that you're working with really understands the costs that are going into it. Um, you know, again, the detail that, that Tim just talked about and we've talked about on previous slides is really understanding the end customer and end goal in mind but understanding our own costs as well to make sure that we're providing something that's competitive. We know it's gonna get you what you want um, and it, it's cost efficient for, for the customer. Right, right. Um, you know, but hitting all the, the requirements that that customer needs from tolerancing, fit, surface finish, um, coatings, heat treatings, you know, things of that nature, you know, really understanding and diving deep into what those costs mean for that customer. And another driver of cost is machine, the machining equipment. I mean, the feeds and speeds on machines today is is just, it's it's amazing. And, and how quick you can get that tool changed, how quick you're making chips, um, you know, the type of uh, coolant you're using. I mean, there's so much that goes into it. And, you know, when you're choosing the, this machine shop, if it should be a part of the, uh, hopefully part of the foundry, um, you know, seeing what kind of equipment they actually have and what kind of inspection equipment they have, that, those are two, Two important factors. Yeah, it's it's not as simple as you think it would be when you when it comes to machining. You're not just taking a part over there and taking one tool. Um, you know, there's a lot of time and money that can be saved by you know the way you program it. Yep. So.